E siamo live. Eccoci. <ride> Ciao, Luca. Ciao, Luca. Ciao. Ciao. Come stai Ciao. oggi? Molto bene, grazie. <ride> bene. <ride> Un po' di tosse ci sta. <ride> ancora caldo, guarda, in Italia è ancora estate. Qui. Oh, che bello, che bello. Io da non sono nemmeno più abbronzata. Quindi dieci giorni eh, fa. Vai, vabbè. Rassegniamoci all'autunno, ma è bello anche esatto. quello, dai. Sì, <ride> assolutamente. Esatto. Eccoci qua, vediamo se i nostri amici. Eh, sì, io vedo che si collegano già le nostre amiche. Sì, sì. sì ci, sono, ci sono, cominciano ad arrivare. Senti... Eh... Dunque, cosa facciamo oggi? Lo sappiamo. Cosa facciamo eh, oggi? Esatto. Presina. Oggi eh, io sono un'appassionata eh, di questi colorini qua, il jewel. <ride> Mi piacciono molto, io sì. adoro gli effetti che fanno. Scusa, eh, stanno demolendo una casa di fronte, quindi è meglio. Ciao. Di... <ride> Ci sono un po di Ciao Roberta. Good okay. morning everyone who's joining us. Hello, hello. Hello, ciao Roberta, ciao a tutte. Eccole, 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 arriva. No? Oh, grazie Luisa, che tesoro. <ride> molto, molto, molto carina Luisa, grazie, grazie sì, Ma speriamo, sai, sempre di non deludere le nostre amiche che ci ah sì, assolutamente io ce la metto tutta quindi mm -hmm. oltretutto eh, mi occuperò di questi alcolinks che io adoro quindi eh, li vediamo eh, in una versione un po' più ristretta perché sai per esempio non so se vedete questi sono, ehm, sono effetti con proprio quelli, questi colori mm -hmm. eh, ampia superficie quindi li vediamo scorrere eccetera abbiamo più la, lo spazio è grande più danno soddisfazione perché si, certo. eh, eh, si allargano creando delle, delle macchie degli effetti poi guarda li vediamo anche non so forse si intravede questo e anche qui vediamo questo, proprio gli alcoli in ah, che bella un modello più grande esatto su una superficie sempre grande e anche addirittura con le paste perché poi si possono usare per l'appunto anche con quelle paste mm. che hanno effetti diversi sulla superficie porosa li vediamo mm. ovviamente opachi e su una superficie più liscia li vediamo invece lucidi. Ah, oh, che bello! Possono essere usati proprio eh, insieme ad altri prodotti, quali ad esempio le paste. Quindi vi consiglio di provarli perché sono. Mm. Che lo, lo conoscano, eh? Uh, hello, Nagia! Gil, hello! Bisogna sperimentare, in, insomma, con questo prodotto, bisogna sperimentare molto. Esatto, hello Silvia. So I was saying also a little bit in English as well mm -hmm. that uh, we are going to play with the alcohol inks uh, on small surfaces at this time. So normally I show the some examples in big, uh, large surfaces, but uh, we can see also how to arrange them in uh, on cards, for example. I prepared a um, few examples here. And we have, questi sono piccoli esempi di cards con questi alcolini. Che bei colori, bellissimi. Eh, sono sì, molto vivi. molto vivi, sono vivaci e, mm -hmm. e creano questi effetti. Allora, questi effetti qua, non so se in qualche modo riuscite a vedere, che ci sono anche delle paste sotto, quindi eh, li ho sperimentati e usati anche proprio con le paste. Ma vediamo come, eh, poi li vediamo insieme come fare perfetto e quindi anche... prima di iniziare come al solito non dimenticatevi di mettere un bel like e di condividere questa live se volete vincere una pizza box, una pizza box. lunedì Giovanni che finalmente tornerà uh, nel suo caffè finalmente lunedì oh, 
Quindi eh, qui, qui Giovanni annuncerà eh, il, la, il o la nuova vincitrice, vincitrice o nuova vincitore, insomma. Also in English, as I was saying, don't forget to like and share this live if you want to win a pizza box. Finally, Giovanni, we will be back. He will be back on Monday for his cafe and he will announce the new winner. So, yeah. Okay. Per Mm, vuoi che ti metta un video per girare, per girare okay. la camera? Ah, va bene, intanto ah, metto un piccolo video, come vuoi, eh? io ho... Ah no, mi sa che ci siamo. Io sono già pronta, sì. Perfetto, <ride> perfetto. Allora ti lascio lo schermo oh, wow. principale, così... Allora, Patrizia ci saluta, ciao bellissime, oh, wow. Ciao Patrizia. Crezia lo è, è bellissima, lei è <ride> giovane e bella. <ride> Siamo tutte belle qua. Ma sì, dai, sì, sì, perché no? Ciao a tutti. <ride> allora, ragazzi, so, let's start with the cardboard. So, uh, we need cardboard and I have different ones. This is white, a little bit uh, curly, uh, because... Um, Ico links uh, like jewels are very very nice on white surfaces or metallic surfaces. So I suggest you also to try on uh, other ones like uh, uh, for example gold or silver or whatever you like uh, as per or um, uh, I also had some silver and silver. and also um, shiny surfaces like uh, like this one on a plastic, transparent plastic. But let's start and we try little by little. So first of all, because they are so quick. So um, stavo dicendo che eh, vedremo questi effetti degli alcolinx su superfici diverse. Eh, siccome ci occuperemo di cards, vediamo eh, per esempio su una superficie bianca eh, leggermente perlata come questa. Quindi è un cartoncino, normalissimo cartoncino. Eh? Okay. Hi Terry, hi. So let's start with this. I will use the glossy gel heavy body paste. So glossy gel is very, very nice with this but also the clay paste transparent is very nice as well. Let's start with glossy gel. And what can we do? We can mix the colors uh, on the surface or first spread the um, glossy gel and then add the alkalines. But I will show you how I normally do, which is quite uh, easy to do. So I take a palette like this one and then se ci sono particolari eh, richieste, questions, uh, tu mi informi, vero Lucrezia? Non so. Certo, certo, guardo i commenti. Io faccio e faccio il mio lavoretto. Mm -hmm. Yes, so if you have any questions, write them down in the comments, I will read them for Monica, and Monica for sure will answer in the best way as possible. So here we have glossy gel. I put on a palette. A couple of... Car, a couple of a small amount of paste and I choose my colors I was you I had some uh, purple color here and uh, if I can find some lilac it would be nice as well uh, let's see mm -hmm. no I don't have it let's get let's get some uh, I also like uh, um, combination with orange and purple. I like these two colors. You can combine them as you like, as you like in uh, all art nice. So I will use gloss because you know that especially if you have uh, nails with gel, it will be very, very difficult to clean them. <laughs> so <laughs> I first use uh, uh, gloss today. But uh, in case uh, you can clean with alcohol. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Patricia. <laughs> hello, hello. So let's mix some drops into the glossy gel. Like this. 
I mix, but not very well. I mix a little bit. And I go straight on my surface like this. Okay. Not in an uneven, irregular way. So I spread like this. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> not paint fingers for Monica today. No, not today. Because they not are today. Too. They are new. I just made them. So I want to keep them for a, a little bit. <laughs> At least today. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, crafting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, let's mix a little bit of orange now. Yes. Oh, there is Sarah Alcobendas in the comments. Hello, Sarah. Oh. Hello. Mix here as well. Okay. And I can add some more color in some parts. So here and there, I can add a few drops more. Hola, Sala, Sara y Comendas. Some drops here and there. And some drops of purple. So where they uh, mix together, they make a certain um, sort of brown color. So with two colors, we get actually three. Abbiamo quindi quasi tre colori. Poi mi piacerebbe aggiungere. I'd like to add a little bit of. Transparent crackle. You know that crackle paste alone. Uh, grazie Roberta. Grazie Roberta. Ciao <laughs> amici, è un mostro. <laughs> so, uh, crackle paste alone. Um, it uh, it is very hard to um, make it fix uh, on a surface because actually uh, crackle paste um, needs something underneath. So another paste, or also only a little bit of uh, um, glue as a, a primer to fix uh, uh, the crackly paste. Otherwise, on glass and smooth surfaces, uh, it uh, tends uh, to uh, to go away. So let's uh, I will add it here and there, overlaying the previous one. So let's get another, another spatula, nice, okay, so this is white, as you know, but it will be transparent when it's dry. so I go over, here and there, and I will have some couples here. Uh, we have Anna Heleno who wrote Monica, the vacation and the sun have made you even more beautiful. And Lucrezia, mamma mia. <laughs> wow. Anna, thank you so much. Grazie, thank you. <laughs> yes, but because holidays make everybody beautiful. <laughs> oh, yes. Holidays are so good in life. Mm -hmm. So now, before drying, with a uh, fact, what I have here, I uh, will add a little bit of uh, porporina. Porporina is a metallic powder. Roberta, vediamo se lo trovi questa. <laughs> <laughs> porporina, this is silver. Let's use uh, a very uh, dry brush. And this is Because if the brush is not dry, um, you will have, uh, of course, all the powder on your brush. Of course. Mm. So this is the diluent because you know that uh, these colors have their own diluent, which is transparent, that I had put into a spray um, spray bottle. Okay. 
pizza da porporina. Oh, che bello. Ah, l'ha trovato Roberta il codice. Trovata, Eva, di P02, esatto, ma sei, sei grande, sei più veloce di un fulmine. Un fulmine. Veramente, questa ragazza è preziosissima. Uh -huh. Tutte le live io non guardo più i codici perché spero sempre che ci sia. Sì, sì. No, 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 siamo sempre sistemati. Vi lascio un attimo e ti asciugo un secondo. Eh? Sì, sì. sì, sì. Tanto... Ah, sì. Così leggo qualche commento, vediamo. Ah, uh, Susan, what are you spraying? Oh, yeah, Monica, this is the air dryer. And then she will answer you, Susan. Then we have... Hello, Elena. Hello. Oh, Patricia is saying thank you to Blanche. Yes, Blanche, thank you once again for translating everything in Spanish. Thank you so much. And it was so uh, funny for me while I was directing your live with uh, Sarah. It was really great, really amazing. Poi Roberta, ci aiutiamo, soprattutto qui su YouTube tutte mettono codici quando ci sono le live nella propria lingua. È vero, Roberta. È molto bello vedere come la nostra audience collabora e ci danno consigli, ci cambiano codici. Silvia Barreda, è molto molto Did she mix the purpurina with uh, water in the bottle? Miss part of that? Yes. Yes. Monica was was mixing water and purpurina. Oh, uh, yes. Actually, um, I mix purpurina with not uh, not water. It's a special diluent. Uh, this is a special diluent for alcohol inks. So okay, okay, okay. So I was wrong. <laughs> Yes, it's not uh, water because they have to, they are uh, these effects, you know, uh, like, uh, let's see, just to have a look here with only drops like this. Uh, they work with the, this dealer. With this, uh, you can have this effect uh, of spreading color, okay, but not with water because they are really. Uh, alcohol based uh, so it's a diluent based on alcohol of course so they work only in uh, this uh, with this uh, uh, product uh, or with alcohol actually um, so let's now so it's well, it's not so dry because it's still a little bit um, a little bit uh, softer but uh, uh, crackles are starting to come out we can also add a little bit of uh, um, little bit of uh, this uh, white uh, metallic uh, um, metallic color vivace uh, which is uh, oro bianco metallico uh, mm -hmm. i have you, uh, roberta k a d 88 i put a little bit like this with a sponge and You can have a nice effect to make it a little bit softer in some parts. You can use uh, also silver if you like uh, or uh, another gold, but anyway, this is to enhance uh, the 3D effect uh, of, uh, the, uh, of the paste. So crackles are starting to come out. They are not uh, completely out, but they will. They will do. So we have this effect now. We can cut out uh, a stripe because we can make uh, for this kind of cards. You can prepare a big uh, surface and then to cut it out uh, after having um, after it is dry. So in this case, uh, I would count it in mm -hmm. 
2, even if it's not completely dry. If it is completely dry, I suggest you to use them also a, um, a cutter. Mm -hmm. okay. Then we can put behind something like a, a mat. So we can mat this one. Cut it out. I don't use a cutter because I have so many things on my table. <laughs> And I have no place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have Danka who's writing a very nice card. <laughs> we can actually glue this on this part. Let's glue it with uh, extra song glue, which is for sure somewhere. So, extra song glue just behind. Put it in the middle. Okay. I cannot press too much because it's still very, very soft. And mm -hmm. now I take a um, card and dig it, for example. This is not really a card, it's a cardboard, but okay. Just to show you me. Put it here. Um, Alessandra, Sara, Alessandra. Yes, it's not. Uh, uh, yes, you can also use some raisin if you like. Huh? You can put a raisin after it is completely dry because now it would not be possible. But alkalines are very good with a raisin as well. So. You can mix them perfectly with raisin. There, in the middle. Okay. With the gloves, I'm not so comfortable. <laughs> Let's mark it a little bit. Okay. Just to make it more match behind. Oh, we have a really nice comment from Patricia, who is writing, I especially love Monica's dancers on rice paper, which actually seem to move. Destroying all the area here. Okay, so here it is. <laughs> Thank you, Patricia. <laughs> dancers on rice paper. Yes, right. But now I have all the um the spanish dancers to show you mm -hmm. show you a couple if you like because in one of them i have used uh, used really these colors would you like to see it maybe i can show you oh yes <laughs> then you okay to remind me <laughs> so yeah yes at the end of the live we will take a look for sure <laughs> yes why not uh, so now let's see another example. So this is an example uh, more or less like this one. Okay, this is uh, with uh, uh, other colors. This is with a uh, uh, reddish color, and this is a real card because this is double, and this can be a bookmark or another another ID. Let's keep it here. And now I wanted to show you also, so all the remaining parts, uh, you keep them and then they will be useful for other cards. Uh, you, they are ready for, uh, already for others. You can see maybe a little bit of the um, trackle coming out here where I had put the, uh, I don't know, with these shiny colors, maybe it's a little bit hard to see. 
but uh, as soon as it dries, we will see the truckles. <laughs> Grazie. <laughs> Allora, vamos a ver cómo se hace su una superficie dorada. Mm? Uh, something maybe more in the colors of... Uh, uh, let's see. What about black and white? Black oh, and white. nice. See black and white. <laughs> <laughs> yes, looks fine. So I will take uh, this card. And uh, I, this time, I will use uh, first the gel on the surface. Okay. Right here. Okay. Even if I don't cover everything, it doesn't matter. It's not very, very important to cover completely. We have Susan who is writing very different, never seen that technique before. Really? Oh, good. <laughs> so I can show you something new. <laughs> so now a little bit of crackly paste, transparent. There. Let's now I first dry a little bit of surface. So I'm going to leave you with Lucrezia. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Roberta, once again for all the codes. So, uh, going back to Susan comment, yes, but this is the purpose of our lives, so to, to learn together different techniques and new techniques, uh, um, le learning all the basics, so all these uh, things, uh, they are really, really great for, uh, for, for learning, uh, actually, and to exchange suggestions. And then we have... Paulina, who's saying, el efecto que da la espátula es genial. Oh, yes, it really it, it's really beautiful. And uh, on this gold, uh, it's really great, the effect with the, with the white and the black. I'm sure that it will be even better. Then we have... Um, <laughs> who's commenting? Oh... Crafty, thank you to thank you for your for your, for your for the codes. Really, you are really helping us in during every life. Okay, here we are. Eccomi qua. Allora, ho asciugato un po' più tenacemente così vediamo l'effetto un po' più deciso del crackle crackle paste, which is going to dry on top of uh, glossy gel. So remember that alone it does not stick on this surface, which is too small. Okay. So first glossy gel and then crackle paste, or first glue or whatever you want, and then crackle paste. At least on these smooth surfaces. So let's do something more modern. So black and white, black and white jewel iconings. Black. Okay, A D zero thirteen. <laughs> Here it is. Let's drop it. Oh, che bello. Let's drop. And the deal went. So mm -hmm. remember the deal went is like that. Let's go. Remember it is. Diluent is transparent alcohol based, necessary for these colors, no water. So you see the colors flowing and floating on the surface now. Let's 
people how they do it, how they manage. I don't suggest you to uh, treat them too much uh, with uh, um, with spatula or something because if you mix them too much, they miss their uh, their uh, spontaneous flowing. <laughs> I mean, so just. You can help them a little bit, but leave them going alone on the surface. Uh -huh. okay, let's, go mm -hmm. let's put some. Now, some. Porphyrin. This time I didn't have porphyrina. Uh, here I had metallic powder, which goes mm -hmm. very well as well with these colors. Metallic gold at this time, always with a dry brush. I pour it a little bit like this. And then let's spray because I want purpurina to mix with the, with the color. And we can have this effect. Here it is. This effect into the crackles as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's now dry again. Sorry, I have to dry a little bit. Ah, oh, don't worry. I will read the, some more comments. Yes, okay. <laughs> Thank you. So, Danka is saying, this is a master live. Thanks, Monica. Yes, Monica is so talented. We are preparing uh, some uh, workshops now, so... Uh, don't so don't forget to look through our news on uh, stampers worldwide on our social media because in this way you will be updated updated about all the workshops um germaine is asking what did you spray uh monica was spraying the diluent as i le learned during this life uh, then we have Polina, es un fuego artificial, sí, sí, claro que sí, you're right, the effect on this gold, it's really great. You know now what I'm going to use, I, I'm going to take a little bit of white acrylic instead of gold or silver, little bit of this acrylic color, and then with the usual sponge, which are so useful in this case, I dab here and there to make to enhance the uh, the paste. So maybe I took too small quantity. Let's take a little bit more with the sponge, and I go very very softly on the surface. And now let's cut it again because it's more evident actually if we um, cut a piece of it uh, and see more on a matte uh, surface to see the contrast. Very motor car on this side. <laughs> Let's keep it this a bit. Let's see also like this with uh, this extra strong glue. Maybe not like this. And now it is here a little bit overlaid. Okay. Let's see it here. And I stayed it. It can
can be also a combination, I was uh, thinking of a few, um, why not, uh, a, uh, an element from um, also the, the, um, the clear die cast. Uh, they can be overlaid a little bit and uh, add a few uh, details more, why not? Uh, I don't know why, which one now. Uh, I was only wondering if uh, uh, it can fit uh, with this. Let's try together because sometimes I try with you some <laughs> new solutions and uh, actually we can see if uh, one of these elements can fit uh, with uh, these uh, bases, uh, this background. Yes, why not? You see, it can be nice. Mm -hmm. hmm? Something like this, or something like this. Yes, I like it. Hmm. Yeah, also in the comments, uh, people are saying uh, uh, to put all them together. So, sorry. Also in the comments, uh, we have uh, Roberta who wrote, Mi piace la sovrapposizione. Ah, okay, yes, <laughs> I like it too. I have to take out the gloves. <laughs> also, not so good with these things because you stick everything. <laughs> okay, let's try like this. And then, okay, I need nails now. <laughs> okay. Here. So I'm playing with you because when I start, then I will never stop. <laughs> <laughs> because I had a stain here, so I want to cover it with this and maybe with a heart here. I love this um, this heart, uh, this uh, clear, clear cup. They are very, very nice. Let's see if I can move. Yes, um, because it's black and white, it's better to stay in this top. Let's do this here. Okay. And then have to make it a little bit shorter. Of course, if you use a cutter, it will be more precise in the shape. Okay. And now a little bit of black and white. Reduce black and white. So here we go. Another idea of what we have just made. So, in this color and this. <laughs> okay. Oh, che belle che sono. Sì, sono più Sono un po' diverse. Un mm -hmm. po' moderne, un po' moderne. Ma che direi. <laughs> okay, let's now see something different again. So, I want to keep all my cuts. Clear, precious, <laughs> clear. You see how nice they are. Oh, I see. Also the butterfly. So they are very, very nice. Sono quelli che possono essere usati anche come charm. Sì, esatto. Mm. Sì, 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 infatti. Uh, volete il codice? Ce l'avete? Sì, magari facciamo vedere così. Se le nostre amiche li vogliono cercare perché questi file in particolare sono quelli che possono appunto essere usati come ciondoli. Eh. No, quelli sono diversi ancora. Eh. Ah, ok. Pensavo che erano loro. Sì, credo che siano altri ancora perché questi sono proprio solo i clear die cut. Ah, ok. I charms sono più piccoli, eh, sì. Sono... Però anche questi potrebbero essere usati. Eh, mm -hmm. Dentro, inside, you have 49 pieces inside the pocket of this. 
kind Patricia, lovely. <laughs> Thank you. I wish I were. I wish I were. I still, I'm still learning, learning a lot. Yes, but I like new to test new things. So when I have something new, I will. Uh, I normally come back to you and show you. <laughs> okay, so I will make them later but i don't want to miss them that's why i'm uh, tidying up <laughs> they are super issues okay so now let's see something else again so i have now this um a cardboard which is uh, a basis of uh, of a book uh, i was making so now it's only uh, i use it only for a test now and uh, let's see how to use it here with uh, Again, the ICO links and stencil. So I I just uh, found a stencil like this one, which is uh, a 3D stencil. Mm -hmm. So I'm always putting it here like this, and uh, we prepare little bit of glossy gel white glossy gel and dot um, for example heavy body paste uh, it would work as well but the glossy gel will be transparent clear and then shiny very shiny while with the others i see that this gets a little bit matte and i like uh, um these jewels, these alcohol links, uh, I like them when they are uh, shiny, actually. So I prefer when they are shiny. So let's get some, um, some red now. I put the stencil like this and I mix red and I don't mix very well. I put some drops of red and some of orange. And with spatula, I do this and I go over my pencil, which is not very flat, but I, maybe I do like this. Oh. Let's go over. And we do this effect a little bit, not very um, covering and not uh, um, all the same color. I mean, we will see the different stripes of color. Of course, we don't have, we try not to move the stencil. But when we use paste, uh, this stencil does normally does not move because it sticks on the surface. Okay. Okay, let's see how it goes. We can all the time add if you like a few drops of metallic powder it will make it shinier no deal went to this time no deal went. Oh, we have a question by Kathy, and uh, she's asking which stencil, is, which stencil is this? Loving it. Uh, this is a 3D stencil whose code I can't, I uh, I don't remember. <laughs> Please help us, Roberta. Where are you? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Okay, so 
you can use actually uh, also in this way. So hyperlinks mixed up with uh, glossy gel, if you like powder, and then use the stencil. You will have this effect of uh, stripes uh, inside if you don't mix them very well there. Mm -hmm. This effect is powder. really beautiful. <laughs> This is another technique to remember. Remember to clean your stencil after using with face. So mostly I clean at least like this because it's important to um, not to leave it dry with the face. Otherwise, actually you will not use it for long. Better it is if you wash it into warm water. But now it will go. Okay, I will save my stencil. Let's see now any other technique. So, <laughs> thank you, Danka and Silvia and everybody. So, they are always nice. So, I don't know where to put it. Maybe here. Okay. Now, let's take another piece of. Uh, um, another piece of uh, cardboard, whitish cardboard, and uh, I will um, use uh, a stamp. So, let's take a stamp. Maybe uh, I can find uh, a, a shape here. I can find it in my disorder. <laughs> well, maybe, yes, we can use like this. It doesn't matter. Also, on a cardboard, you can make a tag on cardboard. And I'm going to use uh, a very nice uh, stamp. I like a lot uh, this one, which is uh, this one with the roses. Of course, we love the roses. <laughs> so, here it is. Let's take one of these. So this is too small for this. So I will use something bigger. Okay. Okay, let's do it here. So I will use this rose here. And I need a uh, so I will stick it. But now, what I really suggest you, if you want to combine um, these stamps with uh, alcoholics, uh, it's better not to use uh, to stamp uh, the um, what we generally do with uh, with it. You know, I normally use uh, permanent ink. Uh, uh, on paper if I want to color it, but not in this case. If you use this with alcohol inks afterwards, the alcohol contained into the inks will um, dissolve your stamp. So, for this technique, what we need is a normal acrylic uh, black color. So, let's say acrylic color black use a bit of black I didn't mix it very well and then so you can use actually any color you want okay it doesn't really it's not so necessarily black you can make it in blue or whatever color you like the most. Huh? Okay. I'm going to use black to see better the contrast now. And we take a sponge. So sponge with black. I dab black on the surface. Like this. And quite soon like Stamp it. Right. 
And we have the rose here. So this uh, I normally clean with water, okay? But this is uh, easily washable with water. I dry. Okay. So here we are once again. Oh, okay. You you have already finished. Yes, it's something there. Okay, perfect. Now I need a small brush. Let's take some uh, green for the leaves uh, and uh, magenta maybe for the rose. I only need a couple of drops here. And a drop of uh, green color. And with a small brush, we go to color our rose, which is now okay because, as I told you, I had tried with the permanent ink and all the black was dissolving because of the, actually the uh, effect of the alcohol contained into the product. Then to clean your brush, you normally need a solvent, the big one. Okay. Let's take the green. And I would like to use a little bit of white to make like a watercolor, but of course, it is with these colors which allow different effects. If it dries, what I did? Uh, yes, it's a very nice uh, stamped one because you have so many inside. Also, mm -hmm. uh, rosebuds uh, and uh, all these petals. Very versatile. Okay, so this time again, you can use. Uh, actually to cut out your stripe and overlay onto a, onto a card, of course, to make a bookmark or a card. So it is an alternative to mm, acrylic colors and to watercolors. And what's more, you have these nice effects of shadowish, uh, of um, stains onto the flower. And, you can also use uh, um, uh, a shiny uh, varnish on top of it. So normally these colors uh, fit very, very well. <laughs> Gracias, Nikita. Uh, matches very well with raisins, as you know. But not only if they are dry, you can put overlay any varnish you want. Let's see. Okay. Take actually a, um, a shiny finish. Can be uh, if I can find it because it was not first used. I'm looking for it. The glossy finish varnish. Glossy finish varnish. I don't have it here at the moment. I only have the heavy body finish, which is very similar to the glossy finish, but uh, uh, the glossy finish is more transparent. But you can go over and make uh, your stamp completely 3D and uh, shiny as 
with the a, a radio. Okay, so you can use it to see uh, even more, I mean, um, uh, more uh, shiny, yes, and clear with the uh, glossy finish burnish. Or if you have this one, also this one, it's a little bit longer to dry and now it is whitish, but of course it will be completely clear and transparent. I don't know if I can dry a little bit to show you. Let's see. Okay. okay, it will take longer than the shiny, the glossy finish, but you can already see that it will be 3D and, and very, very shiny. Okay, grazie Roberta. Heavy body finish. Okay. I'll show you better. Heavy body finish. So you go straight and it perfectly keeps the shape. Because sometimes if you put a lot of uh, raisin, if you do this with the raisin, sometimes it uh, goes outside the shape. But it is perfectly into the shape. Just be patient to let it dry. So then what more what did I ah, just just to have a look at to the uh, transparent uh, um, transparent uh, surfaces like uh, this one hmm? so this is transparent plastic and let's see that fact also here I have checked maybe something yeah. You cannot imagine how many things I have on my table. <laughs> okay, let's see. So I have cut something like this. And let's see with these other colors. The color I like is this turquoise. Yes, lovely. Let's see. The colors without. But I think you know this technique, but it's always nice to see uh, turquoise and uh, maybe brown. Yes. Let's see how it works. Let's make some more parts. And some brown. You see that uh, it will they they are mixing together. Let's spray the this one. Let them flow. And we already see the effect. Some drops of that. You have a really to wait when they um, when they move because they change a lot actually they change a lot okay. and a little bit of metal powder as well okay. And let's now dry. When I dry, of course, they will move again more. Ah, oh, but this effect is so beautiful. Yes, uh, I think you you know how they behave. But it's always nice also to see how we can put it into a card. I show you mm -hmm. just a second to dry. Okay. <laughs>
let's see also on the other side they are both nice on both sides just a second mm -hmm. and try to do this again which has already uh, this uh, uh, pre-cut shape. This uh, should fit into this. Uh, and just have a look how uh, different this uh, is uh, on, on a, a golden surface. You see, on the gold surface is like this, on a white surface is like this. So it depends on what you put behind and you will have a different effect. This card is like this, you see. Okay, so I close like this. Okay. And I will slide it inside, but opposite on this part, so upside down. Hope it fits. Yes, it fits. I have tested it. Of course, we should glue it. We should glue it. Si, è vero, anche sull'oro è molto bello, oro morto, è vero. And now, I try to find glue just to fix it. At least, here. Okay. And at the here. This and last, for example, you could also, for example, here uh, with the, um, let's see if it works, sure. maybe you can find some shapes inside here. So this for <laughs> me can be... <laughs> yeah, in fact, crafty, crafty brood. Oh, I see a skeleton face. Oh, yes, the eyes, but I'm more romantic. <laughs> I see some flowers. <laughs> so I will uh, use it as a, so for example, and use my beloved uh, dandelion <laughs> something like that more or less no? this can be Of course, I've used uh, um, the opposite part because the other side is still a little bit uh, uh, wet. Mm, okay. okay. So you should use uh, a, a pen, which is uh, uh, which is uh, a pen that you can write on, on plastic. And last but not least, a couple of. <laughs> Glitters. <laughs> I love glitters. This is the pen, the glitter pen with the uh, silver. You could use this, or maybe you can also use the uh, item. I show you, of course, everything I can. For example, you can also use contour silver. Why not? That's for the decoration. 
this is another small idea. Let's say it's closer. You see this effect? We should say, I don't know, something like uh, stones. <laughs> Metallic stones. So I can just put this and have a start. Oh, that, that's really great. The final effect is really beautiful. Yeah. So let's summarize what we have seen today. I changed my camera. Okay. <laughs> reach it on the, on the other one just to see. You I was the mess. smaller one. Look at the mess. No, you okay, don't see it. Sure <laughs> and let's see what we saw today. If you have questions, please uh, ask me. And then I will read uh, your uh, your comments. But first of all, let's see. We made uh, some um, some uh, on uh, white cardboard, and we make uh, and we made uh, something like this uh, can be a bookmark. Mm -hmm. so, or maybe you prefer to have uh, the camera on the other side? No, it's okay. No, it, it's it's perfect like this. Okay. So first uh, we made bookmark. And then we prepared on a golden surface, on golden uh, cardboard, uh, only black and white uh, we made uh, and always. Uh, you see now, well, I think the crackly. Oh, uh, yes. Here also, but it is a little bit smaller, but here you can see it better. And we made uh, another Mm -hmm. Then we prepare uh, with uh, um, the uh, stencil. The stencil that I saw that you found that um, that you found the coat. The stencil with the glossy gel. Oh yes, this effect is really pretty. I loved it. With the gel and uh, fill mm -hmm. the colors. Then we used uh, uh, a stamp, stamp with uh, acrylic color, not permanent ink, but acrylic color on cardboard, mm -hmm. one cardboard. And we painted with uh, alcohol inks, uh, with a small brush, and finally, with a heavy body, uh, finish on top of it to make it shiny and then we also sew uh, on uh, plastic on the kind of oh plastic. yes and uh, uh, with the help of diluent uh, we made stains which can be also flowers and if you want you can contour them with a pen with uh, glitter pen or with contour as well. <laughs> uh, grazie Luisa. <laughs> oh, yeah. so, vera, vera, veramente <laughs> cool, sì, veramente <laughs> carino. <laughs> <le cose. laughs> if you give a present to a friend or someone you really love with something you made personally, I think uh, that uh, it can be very appreciated because you made it, it's unique <laughs> and it's handmade so for creative people like all of us uh, we understand each other <laughs> and so we know what it means when you make a card on your own and give it to a friend so the friend must deserve it of course of course of course <laughs> always, always. <laughs> exactly so more or less i could keep my fingers this time <laughs> grazie paulina so let's see, acetate, uh, coming soon, product, Crafty says, pack free acetate sheet. Yes, they are very, very useful, these acetate for scrapbooking and for our scrappers, friends. Uh, Blanche, thank you, you are translating in uh, Yeah, <laughs> she's <laughs> our official translator and also a really great artist. Yes. I was with my staff. He's like, saying that okay. you are a wonderful commentary, Lucrezia. Yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> a very, a very nice host. <laughs> and uh, what else? So, uh, so 
I see all the comments. I will read them because there are so many. <laughs> oh, we just we have a lot of comments, a lot of nice comments. Yeah. Full of love and hearts. <laughs> yes. I go, uh, you know what? I go to fetch uh, to fetch uh, the dancers. I promise that. Maybe yes. with them just a second. I leave you Perfect. here. And, uh, and also to remind you that we can meet uh, to, again uh, starting from the 15th of September, right, Lucrezia, every, mm -hmm. uh, every Wednesday. Every, every Wednesday, Wednesday, morning. Wednesday in the morning at 11 o'clock in the morning. I hope it will suit, um, fit with your um, times <laughs> on your country. <laughs> I'll be back in a second. Mm -hmm. yeah perfect and of course uh, don't forget to like and share our lives if you want to win a fantastic pizza box on monday that will be uh, giovanni again with his cafe and he will announce the new winner and be ready because we will have a new contest so uh, in a few days we will um, we will show you the poster of this contest. We will explain you the rules, and and it will start in um, October. So you have all the time to create a project for, for the contest. Okay. Yes. Uh, what is the subject of the contest? Uh, do we know already or not? No, 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 no. We are still deciding. But in, in, in few days, uh, we, we, we will show the post the poster with all the information. Okay, great. So this uh, Andalusia uh, okay. is made actually with the icolings. So they Whoa, are it's beautiful. Discovered. It's a shiny, actually. You see, the fact is really uh, our colleagues. So, <laughs> really great. And this one, too. Oh, nice. Really, really nice. <laughs> yes. So, I had different versions, of course, of Andalusia. This is one of, uh, of the versions. I will show you step by step, maybe another version next time because I made yeah. so many different ones, of course. Perfect. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so friends, uh, what else? I hope uh, you'll spend a nice weekend and full of uh, creativity. <laughs> and <laughs> see you again, and starting from the 15th of September, every Wednesday at 11. I hope to see all of you again. And mm -hmm. we change at the hour of uh, the starting. Thank you, Danka. <laughs> thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, Monica, for for this live, for this afternoon together. I I wish you, Monica, and you guys in the comments a beautiful weekend. And tomorrow there will be a new live with Anthony Stanidakis and Alda. I know. A beautiful project with uh, Steve Vagabond in Japan, I, I think. So, see you tomorrow for that live. Of course, uh, of course. Uh, stay tuned. <laughs> Thank you. Grazie, Roberta. Thank grazie you. a tutte. Ciao. A presto. Grazie. A presto. Ciao. Ciao. Grazie a tutti. Have a